Windows Phone has always been a visually striking platform, but for a long time it was also one of the least customizable. Thankfully, that's not true anymore. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now with a quick look at two very different ways to customize your Windows Phone, Tile Art and Skyward Arts. We'll start with Tile Art, hashtag, hashtag, because that's what's blowing up on social media this week, hashtag. This is an app from Rick Webb, a Microsoft employee who built it after getting frustrated with the other customization options out there. The Lumia Conversations blog has a good interview with Rick linked in the description below. The thing to understand about tile art is that it's exactly what the name implies, and nothing more. This is a way to add cosmetic touches to your start screen to break up the wall of tiles and make the phone feel more your own, but it won't add any new functionality. In fact, it takes some away, since the tiles used for the graphics can't be assigned to any apps or functions. Sad face. That said, it's really fun to drop your own custom graphics into your start screen, while maintaining the tile aesthetic that makes Windows Phone so distinctive. I went with a Star Trek theme, please try to contain your surprise, and frankly, it was kind of a rush job. Nothing compared to the bona fide masterpieces that some other people have come up with. Even so, my own effort took me the better part of an hour, because as cool as the tile art app can be, it's also kind of cumbersome. Microsoft already has a how-to video on this, which we're linking to down below as well, so I won't take you through all the steps. Just bear in mind that you might need a little while to really get the hang of how this thing works. Unless you're smarter than I am, in which case, good for you. Whatever. Because you can use tile art to put any image you want on your start screen, you can also use it for spacing tiles if you just fill the canvas with solid black. That's what I did to separate my tile art home screen from my Skyward Arts one. And that's the other half of this quick look. Skyward Arts isn't new. The developer has a bunch of Windows Phone apps, from the useful to the not so much. But the Shadow Tile Pack is new, and as of press time, it's still on sale for free in the Windows Store, so hit up the link in the description if you want to snap it up. Other icon packs run about a buck a piece, so for now, I'm sticking to the shadows. In contrast to the Tile Art approach, the Skyward implementation is all utility. It breaks available tiles down into supported third-party apps and supported native apps separated into distinct columns. Notice I said supported for each. Presumably because of limitations imposed by Windows Phone's architecture, there are big gaps in functionality here. So while you can install a shortcut to compose an email, you can't put one in for your email inbox. Same deal with SMS. You can drop shortcuts to toggle things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but there's no provision for adding a tile for the settings menu. And probably the biggest knock against this package is, well, just look. This isn't a freeze frame. These tiles just aren't moving, because they can't. Considering how crucial the live part of live tiles is to the Windows Phone experience, that's a big ding. But really, this is about the look. And like Roxette says, it's got the look. The shadow effect is really cool looking, and the ability to adjust the color to basically any shade the software can produce is really nice. Also, to Skyward's credit, its third-party app selection is pretty extensive. From mainstream stuff like Here, Facebook, and Twitter, to really niche titles like Foundbyte and RapDialer, there's a lot of stuff to choose from. Then, of course, you can always just drop a standard tile where Skyward doesn't provide one. Yeah, that does detract from the Unity here, but clever use of background graphics might help overcome that. At least until Windows 10 drops and changes the wallpaper rules all over again. The Shadow Tile Pack and others are available for download in the Windows Store. We want to see your creations. Visit us in the shell post for this video at Pocket Now and drop your screen grabs right in the comments. Or check out our other 2015 Windows Phone coverage, spanning the Lumia 930, 830, and accessories for each. And be sure to subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Till next time, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, Captain Two Phones on Twitter, reminding you to build your start screen like you build your life, exactly the way you want it. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.